Welcome back, everybody, to <laughs> Russ and the Steen. I asked Christine to start, and then she just stared at me for a while. <laughs> I was trying to think how it started. We um, took a break. So. Yeah, it's been a we, we've had quite a day. Yeah. Uh, we'll tell you about it as this episode unfolds. But yeah, we just did our whole peaceful protest in the uh, in the square. That was a good chapter. It was a good chapter. Let's see what, what happens next. It feels I like we're it. going. It feels like things are all coming to a head everywhere. Yeah. Well, back with Connor, I think. Uh no. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said Kara. Connor. Oh. I was like the tank. <laughs> yeah, so we just uh we just went to that barbecue we mentioned. <clears throat> and uh before we went and after we went, we found that the uh the basement where my office is, where I edit these things, was flooded. I had a couple inches of water in uh, on the floor. Thankfully, I had moved is my PC okay, up uh Lieutenant? Off the ground, uh, like a month ago. Yeah. That could have been real bad. Chris was on patrol last night. Who? Chris? He was uh, attacked by a bunch of deviants. I don't think we're supposed to know who he is. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Who's Chris? Who's Chris oh, and he must have been one of the cops. Yeah. He's yeah, but shot. who's Chris? Like, they're saying Chris like we should know which I know, one he he, is. they are, but we don't know. It's just odd. What are we doing again? Uh, I'm not sure. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years Oh, we're going to see that guy. Why did you want to meet Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Who created uh, <laughs> the androids. He created the first android yeah. to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. If anybody can tell us about Deviance, it's him. All right. Lead you just turned it up? What? You turned the volume up on the TV? He is a no. Might bleed through on the mics more, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that'll be good. Oop. Oh, and there is he old ah, now? Ah, that's where she is. Who's she? Hi. The uh, main screen. Oh, the one from the beginning. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. <laughs> yeah, she's very pleasant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, uh, we, Christine and I spent like an hour or two, like just vacuuming water <laughs> out of the ground, too, realizing it's seeping up through the concrete. Yeah, so, uh, fun. But, please make but the sump pump's fun. working now. It wasn't before. That's why it all happened. Yeah. Hank joined. What are you doing? Meet Kamsky. Let's look at this painting. Analyze. Elijah Kamsky. I wonder if he's old now or if it's. When did it say he created it? 2028? Yeah, he's probably not. Probably not that old. Nice girl. You're right. Oh. Hmm. Amanda. Oh. Oh. Ah. Wait, what? She's really pretty. Huh. Huh? Nice place. <laughs> guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. All right. We'll read that, I guess. Tech and now I'm confused. Connor. Yeah. How does it feel? But it kind of makes sense, though. So. I mean, did he put her inside the android's heads? Maybe. Or just his, maybe. I don't know. Uh, okay. Three-hour orbit of the moon, did it say? Yeah. Hmm. That's fun. I would do that if it became safe, you know? Oh, yeah. Which I feel like probably won't happen enough in my lifetime. Um, I think it will. I think that w that's something that will. I mean, happen. I don't think it'll get safe enough. I feel like it'll be a thing rich people can do still, but. I mean, not that we might be able to do it, but. Yeah, it's more what I mean. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes Weird. I wish I could meet my creator face to face. <laughs> Deep. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. It's a cool light over him. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's a, it's a nice little lobby. So you're just waiting? Yeah. Oh, that'll probably help. Now we just sit and wait. So, uh... I'm not gonna bring anything up. Can't, I can't do anything. 
You can't stand? I mean, I can't stand, but that's it. I thought he would be. I guess they that does, doesn't trigger anything. I just thought it might. I thought it would. I thought. Talk or something. I thought it would trigger like the waiting, and then he comes in. Oh, here they come. Oh, hey, is we're he glad just? You will see you now. Okay. Who are these two? I don't know. Oh, are they other androids? Yeah. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. Nice pool. Huh? Nice pool. I guess. It's a little bit of a creepy pool. The red? Yeah, the red uh, it just looks like... It makes it look like blood. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Is that him back in the pool? Yeah, he's getting out. Or he's swimming. Or that. <laughs> oh boy, one of these rich We've interrupted people. interrupted his daily swim. I guess. Gotta one of these my... eccentric <laughs> rich folks. Excuse me, I'll have to get my 15 laps in. Yeah, go talk to him. I don't think he can until he gets out. Yeah. About time. <laughs> What are they talking about? I don't know, but it's weird to have a room full of the same looking girl robot. He's got a type. Nice man, man. I'm mom. Lieutenant Anderson. This is you know, man. I said this earlier. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Man bun Sir, is a sign of quite a few things about somebody. Like None of them ago, good. But <laughs> I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Hey, you know what? If I could grow one, I would, but I can't. Deviants. Is it jealous? Envy? Just to look like a douchebag. <laughs> Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Oh, yeah, it definitely fucked so my ankle up. What happened? Confrontation. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was another thing I. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. My ankle bent Isn't going down the stairs earlier, and I fell and twisted my. Hmm, we see. need to understand how androids become angle. deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? Wonder if this guy's up to no good. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be off. Yeah, I wonder if he did something with them. What about you? Put a program, like a code, in there to. Yeah. Expand Both the mind. You mm. What's it gonna be? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Hmm. Mm. What I want is not important. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. You're from the holiday. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, we'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models uh, developed by CyberLife. Mm-hmm. Young. Well, you know he's feeling like he's going to do something really awful. Yeah. A hitter. Flower that will never wither. Like slap her or something. What is it really? Or just like rip her is hand off. <laughs> yeah. And be like, it's all We're living machines. Oh, yep, he's getting a stabby thing. Soul. Yeah, this. Oh, okay, not a gun. Okay. Um, I feel like we wouldn't be allowing this. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question. Oh, great. Oh, great. He's using. Machine, oh, no. And I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. Oh, this is but a you'll tricky leave here one. Without having learned anything from me. What do you think? Okay, I think we're done here. Yeah. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. But at least he would understand. Connor, your investigation or the life of this android. Decide who you are. Oh, 
this is uh, this is a very bad situation you've been put in. An obedient machine. Or a living being. This guy is super dramatic. Free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. What are you going to do? Sure. I figured you wouldn't. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he... Is it self a deviant? Hmm. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. This guy's kind of a dick. Yeah. You showed empathy. Man bun. You know, should've known. <laughs> Marked. Yeah. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? This guy's being all intense and shit. Than having to choose between two I can't handle this right now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I didn't come in here in the mood for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just here to do my By job. The way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Hmm, what does that mean? I don't know what he means. Like a back door? In their programming? I don't know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish mm. your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you You're a deviant. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry. See, okay? he's freaked out. That's yeah. not cool. This is the first time he's like, actually, like. It's not cool what that guy did to him. But right <laughs> I think it, yeah. That's just uh, that's just the first thought that comes to my head. <laughs> like that's not. I'm gonna walk back in there and tell him what a bad human being he is. Because that, well, that is a that is a true jerk. You know, okay. he just went walked in there. He wasn't super aggressive about anything. And that guy just fucked his whole day up. Yeah. Where's the bit? What's the big branching thing at the begin? At the uh, in the middle, I should say. There's a big one that goes in two different directions. Oh, the camps. The, that makes sense. Whether you shoot or spare. Oh, yeah. Also, can't we, like, come here with a court order or something? <laughs> that, mm, that, like... Maybe eventually. We, we gotta talk... Like, just tell us what we want to know. Yeah, most people spared her, too. That makes sense. Yeah. It would have felt like a dick move to do, you know? Yeah. But, uh, all right. Well, you want to take us out, Christine? Yeah. Uh, that's it for today's episode. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And she's looking at me like making sure <laughs> she's getting all this correct. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.